Welcome to the Wednesday edition of our Two on Your Side Town Hall. Thanks for being here. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Michael Wooten. We always like to start with an important phone number that you can see on your screen. 716-849-2200 is our text line. Uh, you can send us questions, comments. That is, of course, what guides this show. Well, later on, some of your COVID-19 questions. Plus, we'll speak with a local leader who's hosting a community event on Buffalo's east side that just started literally seconds ago. You don't want to miss that. First up, though, a couple of big storylines that we're following in the reopening of Western New York's economy, of course, as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to worsen in some other parts of the country. Right. We got two big announcements today from Governor Cuomo. First, malls, theaters and gyms will not reopen as soon as re a region hits phase four. The governor also joined his counterparts from New Jersey and Connecticut to announce that people coming here from states with the most serious outbreaks will have to self quarantine for two weeks. Listen to the governor. In New York, it's a travel advisory. You are informed that you should quarantine for 14 days. We are continuing to study uh, malls, movie theaters and gyms. As soon as we get some more information, we'll make an informed decision. So in a moment, we'll talk live with a local business owner. She's pretty frustrated with what is excluded from phase four of reopening. But first, let's talk about these travel restrictions with Elizabeth Carey from AAA. She's joining us live right now. Thanks for being with us, Elizabeth. Oh, sure. Hi, Mary Alice. So let's first of all just fill everybody in here. When Governor Cuomo talks about states with serious outbreaks, um, there are certain criteria that have to be met, and we'll show you uh, the states that are impacted if we can take. There we go. As of midnight, about six and a half hours from now, anyone coming from these states will have to self quarantine for 14 days. You have the Carolinas, Florida, Alabama, Arkansas, Texas, Arizona, Utah. Elizabeth, put this into perspective for us if you can. How common is travel right now, especially from people in these states, and how do you assess the impact of this? Well, we've actually seen travel increase domestically with people traveling across New York State and beyond, people looking to go out to the national parks, for instance, and Orlando, the number one destination for Western New Yorkers coming to AAA looking for information. So that's going to impact people going to Florida, people going out west to the national parks, um, down south to the national parks. So then you think about the people are going to wonder, should I still take my trip? Because then am I going to have to quarantine when I come back? How does it all work? So we're getting a lot of questions from travelers. Well, Elizabeth, we know that the travel industry has already been greatly impacted with fewer people taking trips. Now, this news certainly will not help. But with the virus spreading in the states that we mentioned, you wonder how safe it is to be traveling there anyway. What are your thoughts? Well, AAA reminds everyone that travel is a personal choice. And if you're going to travel, you have to protect your own personal safety. That means taking your hand sanitizer, wearing your mask, um, not going out in large crowds, protecting your hands with a plastic bag or a glove if you're pumping gas or going to a public restroom. All these little steps can go a long way to protect yourself. Elizabeth, we've thankfully seen a steady decline in cases, hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19 here um, in Western New York, but that is not the case in other parts of the country. Um, Want to play here what the director of the Harvard Global Health Institute had to say earlier today. Let's listen to this. When we look across at other high income countries uh, in Europe, in East Asia, Japan, pretty much everybody is managing this better than us, largely because they're taking it more seriously than we are. We have large parts of the country uh, that, are, that believe that somehow the pandemic is over and that we're done with the pandemic. Uh, that is going to get us into a lot of trouble. We are not done with this pandemic. We are not done with this pandemic. Dr. Jha pointing out that uh, there are serious issues with this virus in huge chunks of this country. Um, you deal with travelers a lot, Elizabeth. Uh, do you think people are going to understand the seriousness of this and how this is escalating in a lot of parts of the country um, and obey this order from Governor Cuomo and these other two governors in Connecticut, New Jersey? Or do you imagine that people are just going to stick with their plans? 
Well, you know, it's really hard to enforce the type of a quarantine. I know they're talking about fines and more. So hopefully people will obey this for their own personal safety. I know it could impact travel long term if people don't follow their safety rules because, you know, Europe's talking about banning travelers from America in the future. So we all have to see how this pans out. But if everyone takes care of their own personal safety, it, it could go a long way. And so we're hoping for the best. Well, Elizabeth Carey with AAA, always good to hear your insight, and thanks for being with us today. Oh, thank you so much. All right, thanks, Elizabeth. Now let's welcome into the conversation Lynn Kinsella. She is the owner of Aurora Theater. I know we've talked to you a number of times over the years, Lynn. Always good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Lynn, understandably, this is really a frustrating time Every for time your profession, <laughs> and I'm sure you're in conversation with other independent theater owners. What has the conversation been like? How are you all kind of supporting each other and talking about uh, this really unique, challenging time? Okay, Lynn, you weren't able to hear Mary Alice there, were you? No, I was okay, not. I'm going to I'm going to repeat the question for you. I apologize. Right. We're having a little bit of a technical glitch. She's wondering um, just how frustrating it is for you and and other independent uh, theater owners right now as you deal with the fact that you know you probably thought phase four you might be able to reopen and now learning that that is not going to happen. Uh, yes, yeah, since New York Forward was announced, uh, movie theaters were included in phase four. And it wasn't until late last night that we found out that we had been removed from phase four. And with no potential opening date or guidelines. And so Lynn, walk us through um, the procedures that you've put in place and, and what you and your staff have done um, in preparation for this in the hope that you would be able to reopen so that people could come to your business and be able to do so safely. Well, actually, the New York State Association of Movie Theaters has already been working with New York State Department of Budget and had proposed a full comprehensive list, which includes social distancing, staff wearing masks, customers wearing masks, uh, limiting our seating, uh, doing every other row, having sanitation stations, uh, have really no touch as far as the concession. So instead of people picking what candy they would like, we would then have to include that at their order as they go through the line. It's an extremely comprehensive list. Um, we ourselves also have, um, as part of it, a whole cleaning list. We've uh, purchased all the necessary equipment and cleaning supplies to stay safe for our customers and our employees. Do you have any idea at this point, Lynn, as far as guidance from the state um, on when you may be able to open? Because there's, there's now been this discussion of perhaps we're going to have a phase four and then like a phase four A and then a phase four B. What, what are you hearing from the state government and, and maybe trade groups that you're associated with? Our trade group is actually uh, awaiting some information from the state, but as of uh, our conversation, there has been no new information as far as where we are as far as reopening. Yeah, no word right now. And of course, that's frustrating. No we also would like to mention to everybody, we're also talking about malls and gymnasiums, which we also yes. thought were maybe going to be part of phase four, and they're not either. Um, Lynn, final question to you. Um, let's say for a moment that Governor Cuomo is sitting in Albany right now with his public health officials uh, and is streaming WGRZ, because what else would he be doing? Um, what would you say to him? Uh, please understand that we are most concerned about the safety factors for staff and patrons. We want to make sure that that is number one, but we have comprehensive plans that we can put in place and are working to put in place to be open. Our employees need and want to come back to work. Uh, we have to stay open. Uh, we, in order to stay open, we need to reopen. Uh, we are independent single screen and multiplex theaters that are locally owned. And right now we've been closed for over three months with no income. All right, Lynn Kinsella, owner of the Aurora Theater. Lynn, uh, thanks so much for your time. Mary Alice, I'm sorry I stole all of those questions. <laughs> no, that's Thank quite all much. right, really. <laughs> Lynn, think... thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it.